believe in God. I believe, I believe there's some, there's some explanation for this universe, which you might call God. Um, Einstein was asked the big question, is there a God? Is there a meaning to, to everything, right? The question of whether God is bound by the laws of science is a bit like your question. Can God make a stone that is so heavy that he cannot lift it? Does God exist or not? Imagine you're walking through the Sahara Desert, for example, right? You're on holiday, you end up in the desert, in the desert for some reason. As you're walking through the desert, you come across a mobile phone. Just sticking out of the sand, little corner popping out like this, right? Now, imagine I'm with you and you're surprised at finding the phone there. And I say, you shouldn't be surprised, Chris. I mean, what, what is the phone made of? The phone is made of glass, you know, it's made of plastic, it's made of silicon. Yeah. And you, plastic comes from oil, right? And glass and silicon seem to come from sand. And both of these are abundantly available here in the desert. So what happened was, uh, over millions of years, you know, the sun shone and the winds blew and, you know, certain weather conditions took place which allowed for this phone to form itself and just, you know, land or end up sticking out of the sand like this, where you can pick it up and call home. Would you believe me? Would you believe that story? No. What would you think in regards to me? You probably think I'm crazy, right? I think you're out of your mind, yeah. And I don't, wouldn't think that's a plausible story. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and so here's, here's the point I'm trying to get, okay, and what I'm trying to get at with both these examples for you, Chris, is this phone, as complex as it is, as, you know, as much as it has a purpose and a function, it's relatively simple compared to our entire universe. Okay. Right? Our universe is far more complex. It has far, many, far more laws in place, the laws of physics, mathematics, logic. If anything, we need the universe for the phone to exist in the first place, right? For us to have the raw materials and for us to have intelligent human beings that have the ability to create phones, right? So if a simple phone compared to the universe, a simple phone or a coffee cup requires a creator or a designer, what about the entire universe? Shouldn't the universe have a creator? When Newton discovered his law of gravity, he didn't say, I've got a law, I don't need God. No, he wrote the Principia Mathematica, arguably the greatest work in the whole history of science. Because he saw that God is not the same kind of explanation as a scientific explanation. God doesn't compete. Agency does not compete with mechanism and law. Why is there something rather than nothing? Alan Sandage, the brilliant cosmologist who became a Christian in his 50s, said God is the answer to that question. But people are now so desperate to show that the universe created itself from nothing, which seems to me to be an immediate oxymoron. If I say X created Y, I'm assuming the existence of X to explain the existence of Y. If I say X created X, I'm assuming the existence of X to explain the existence of X which simply shows that nonsense remains nonsense even if high-powered scientists utter it. Zero plus zero equals one. It equals zero. You can sit there writing zeros all day long. Unless you put it, it'll mean nothing. Unless you put another digit in, it'll mean nothing. Similarly, this universe, it's impossible that it came from nothing. If you had nothing to begin with, you were going to get nothing as a result. Nothing makes nothing. It's nothing, it's impossible for nothing to make something. something. It's that simple.